Hi everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I have some tips for you on how to save your files securely. So there's a couple things I'm going to be talking about. I want you to also check out the links in the description below. I have a few tutorials on organizing and additional information on the topics I'm going to cover today. So file storage. The Silhouette Studio Library has a storage option. However, the storage option is limited and you can see this if you click on the library tab in the top right, you have the option to save to the library. So if I click here on my user designs, I have some designs in my library, but not a whole lot. I do not use the Silhouette Library often. Basically, as a quick, if I, especially if I'm traveling, I might use it, but then I also use Save to My Hard Drive. So, the Silhouette Studio Library is not designed as an all-inclusive storage area. It is designed as a syncing device to be able to sync between multiple computers when you are using your user account. All users get one gigabyte of storage space. If you are a Silhouette Club member or a Silhouette Design Store subscriber or have been in the past, then you get an additional five or you get a total of five gigabytes of storage. Now there are a few users, many who have been with Silhouette for 10 plus years who have a massive library and they had a massive library before we went to the Silhouette cloud-based storage where everything is stored with your account information. So there are a few individuals who have a little bit different storage. Um, that's why you'll see that in some videos. Or if you're like myself, a beta tester, you might see that they have a little higher storage. Now, keep in mind, there's a couple things when you do online cloud-based storage, not specifically with Silhouette, but in general. In general, someone has to pay for that storage. Someone has to keep track of that storage. So if they had to allow everyone to have 100 gigabytes of storage space in your Silhouette library, there's going to have to be a cost to that. So they have chosen not to do that, and you have a limited amount of storage space in your cloud storage. Now, the same thing goes for any other online storage cloud-based system you are dependent on someone else to keep track of that. There's been cases where servers have gone down, and this is in general, not just related specifically to the Silhouette Library. Um, I've never actually seen the entire Silhouette Library go crash and be down um, or lost, but I have heard of different online storage cloud base where they lost a server and everything is gone. There is no getting it back. There's no recovering it. So keep that in mind when you are using online cloud-based storage. It's the, the best way to have your files safe and secure is multiple locations, having backups in multiple locations. And I think over the years we have gotten away from this. When we first started taking a whole bunch of photos and digital photos you and using Microsoft Word, we were always in the habit of saving every five minutes, saving often, um, backing up our files, keeping your photos backed up in multiple locations because you never know when something's going to fail. I think we've gotten away from that, which is not a good habit to get into. So I wanted to talk a few ways about how you can store your files safely. You can use the Silhouette Library if you choose to do so. It is dependent on internet connection and being having those files synced properly to your Silhouette account. If you created a file, you didn't have internet service, or it did not sync to the Silhouette server properly, that file may not be accessible later on down the road. Silhouette can only guarantee the storage and recoverability of their files from the Silhouette Design Store. Personal files are not included in that. So, there are a couple ways you can work with this. Now, one is you can use the Silhouette Studio Library. I'm also going to put up links in the description below on how you can export your library. There are two different ways, and I'm going to briefly mention them here. 
In the library, if I click on my name in the top left corner, I am using a version of 4.5. This is also available in versions 4.4. If you're on older software, you will have one option. You will have library export as your option. A library export is a backup file only. It cannot be opened outside of the Silhouette software. It does not contain individual files. It is a backup that is for backup purposes only that could be imported back into the software if only, only if necessary. If you import a backup file into the library when it is not needed, you'll end up with duplicates or cause further library problems. So that's something to keep in mind. In the versions 4.4 of the Silhouette software, there is now the options for export user created files. And I have tutorials in the links in the description below on all of this information. So very specific in how you can do this and what it pertains to. One thing I wanna mention here is the export user created files will export all of your library folders. However, the only folders that it will have the files in are your user designs, the files you have created. It does not export all of the Silhouette Design Store files. Those can be recovered, so I don't tend to worry about those near as much. Your user design files are what you want to have backed up. So any files that are from the Silhouette Design Store, for instance, under recent downloads, any of these folders that I have created, those are going to export the folder, but they'll be blank when you open them. And my tutorial goes through that in more details as well. So that's one way you can use the Silhouette Studio Library. It is not the way I recommend. Temporary storage maybe, but especially if you are a business or you rely on your personal files that you have created, I would not recommend storing them in the Silhouette Studio Library as your only option. For me, if I'm designing, I'm gonna come in here and if I wanted to say I wanna change this, and actually what I can do is I'm just gonna take that out, say I wanted to, I made these changes in here and I want to save this file so I can come back and I can use it later. I'm gonna shrink, whoop, everything's not selected. If I were to shrink this down, and this is just a file from my library, if I come up here to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, it's going to ask me where I want to save this. So I can choose my location, name my file, And now I'll be able to access that off of my external hard drive. When you use file, save as, save to hard drive, you are selecting where you want this file to save. Personally, I use an external hard drive so I can keep my computer cleaner. It's really up to you and what is going to work best for you. This works for me because I travel and because I use multiple computers. So I can just plug in my external hard drive to any computer that I'm using. So that is the way I do it. I use an external hard drive and I also have a backup external hard drive that I back up my primary external drive to on a regular basis a few times a year. That way if one fails, I still have a copy of the files that I've been using and have stored for many, many years. Every once in a while, I have to get a new hard drive that has a larger capacity. But in general, check the links below. I have links to what I use and uh, what works for me. Most people could get by with a small external hard drive. You probably don't have near as many files as I have saved. If you are a business, you definitely want to check out different storage options and have those backed up somewhere because there is nothing worse than having something happen and all of your files are gone. And that's why I'm making this video. The other option in your library, and I see this one mentioned often, and if you use it, I just want you to understand what happens when you use it. So if I come down here to my library, and I come to my user designs, this is a design I created for 
a shirt. I'll link that tutorial in the description below because it's a good tutorial. So I created a shirt um, with the Bobcats and I show you how to do that. So in this one, it is a user design, so you don't see anything in the description below. It's one I created. Currently, this little green check mark, what that means is that it is synced to my account. If I move my mouse over it, it gives me a little pop out that says synced, and all those little stars are to my account. It's my login, it's the um, account I have with Silhouette. If I check this, or if I press this, it's going to ask me if I want to store it to my local user. Now, this is one way if somebody is having library problems, they may have been advised to change their user designs to local user. And that's okay, but I want to caution on some things. First, have your files backed up outside of the Silhouette software. Not just once, but I would recommend at least in two different locations. Have your files backed up outside of the Silhouette software. I cannot stress that enough. If I press this little green arrow or green icon, it's going to say, please confirm that you want to make this file local only. If you proceed, the file will remain on this device, but will be removed from the server and any other synced devices where you are signed into your account. You will be able to continue to use this file on this device only. Now, what that means is if I move this file to local user only, it is no longer synced to my Silhouette account. Yes, it gives me a little more storage. In this case, it's not that much that I'll notice, but if a user were to do this for all of their files, Yes, you are going to see your storage space get some space here. However, it is on this computer alone. This device equals this computer. You cannot access it from any other computer. You cannot recover it. If something happens to this computer, if it crashed today, it's gone. You, you, it's on local user only. It's synced to nowhere. So I want to make sure if you are using your local user only on your Silhouette library that you also understand that you are assuming the responsibility that you know it is only on this computer. You cannot access it anywhere else and if something happens to your computer, it's gone. The best and the safest location to store your files is outside of the Silhouette Studio software and in multiple locations. Do not depend on just one way. Now, what is the best way? That is completely up to you and your workflow. However you work, if you're working with multiple computers, if you're working on a network, every user is going to have a different way that they can, that works for them for accessing their files. For me, I use an external hard drive. Um, I've considered a network hard drive, but then I, it just makes me nervous. So for me, I have external hard drives and I have those backed up often. So the best thing you can do is you are in control of your files. And that is one of the great things about the Silhouette Studio software is that you can actually export your files from the Silhouette library and they are yours. They're yours to control, they're yours to save, you are in control of it. So I hope this clears up a few more things. Again, take a look at the description below for additional tips on organizing your files, how to back up your files, and how to do that export all user designs if you do have a lot of files in the Silhouette Studio Library. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me.